for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Um, tonight I'm going to be making a Bobby Flay recipe and what I'm going to be doing is preparing a uh, New York strip steak with a uh, blue cheese topping on it with a Vidalia onion jam. Um, then on the side I'm going to be making a uh, warm potato salad. So I haven't made this before. It looks really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying it. And uh, first things first, got a lot going on in this particular cook. So let's go back into the kitchen. And what I'm going to do is break down the ingredients. Okay, so the first thing I need to point out is, you know, tonight my wife and kid are gone. <laughs> They're out of the house. So I'm cooking for myself. So I cut this recipe in half. Anyway, so I've got um, one Vidalia onion that I've peeled and cut up. I've got, you see here, one clove of uh, chopped up garlic about one half of a jalapeno pepper that I seeded and uh, chopped up. I'm going to be using about a tablespoon of uh, bacon fat. Um, one quarter cup of red wine. I'm using a, a Cabernet. And then I have one eighth of a cup of uh, cream de cassis. It's like a black currant uh, liqueur. And then one eighth of a cup of um, grenadine. I'm going to be, uh, you know, adding kosher salt and freshly ground pepper to taste and also uh, honey to taste. And so I'm going to do this on the grill. Now let's go over the ingredients for the warm potato salad. All right, now for the warm potato salad. I'm going to be using about a pound of um, baby red potatoes. Boiled them in seasoned, uh, seasoned it with kosher salt water. And they're just uh, basically, you know, tender now, but they're not falling apart. What I'm going to do is cut these in half hit them with a little olive oil, then I'm going to grill them. Uh, about five slices of bacon that, uh, you know, I cut up into nice little squares here. About an eighth of a cup of uh, olive oil. About an eighth of a cup of red wine vinegar. One clove of uh, chopped garlic. About a tablespoon of roughly uh, cut basil, fresh basil. And probably a little over a tablespoon of uh, roughly cut flat leaf parsley. And uh, that's about it. We're gonna, what I'm gonna do is basically, oh, also Dijon mustard. And let's see how much are we using of this. Uh, tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Also, we'll be using a little honey in this. So um, what I'm gonna do is get all this stuff mixed up going and <clears throat> after I grill these and get them nice and hot, they're gonna go in the Dijon. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, so here's the steak. I'm gonna be cooking beautiful piece of uh, USDA Prime um, New York strip. I think in some, uh, some parts of the country they call them shell steaks. Um, anyway, we're gonna just season it very simply like I usually do anyway with uh, kosher salt. And again, I'm following his recipe here pretty much to a T. Cracked black pepper, freshly ground here. Then fresh thyme. Little canola oil. More salt there. The other side. The reason, you know, the reason we like to do the salt before it cooks is uh, all those juices are going to come up, start making a really nice crust with that salt. All right, so we're gonna let this set. It's already pretty much room temperature, but uh, we're gonna let this set until it's ready to hit the grill. Now let's uh, get going on that um, blue cheese topping. Right, so here's the uh, blue cheese. I just crumbled it up, and I just sort of eyeballed how much I want, and I'm probably not even gonna use that much for just, again, I'm just cooking for myself. I'm gonna put in a little bit of heavy cream. a little bit of that flat leaf parsley. 
gonna mix it up until it's a nice, you know, creamy consistency. There we go, easy stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's hit the grill. Okay, so we're gonna make that jam now. Put the little cast iron skillet on. To get this thing going pretty hot, but I don't want it really smoking hot. Bacon drippings. And I'm cooking with lump mesquite, and it's putting on a show for me here. All right, the onions are finally starting to get a little bit translucent here. Still having those other wet ingredients. Red wine vinegar. The grenadine. Cassis. The uh, Cabernet. Jalapenos. The garlic. I have a cooler spot right here where the pan is now, so just trying to control the heat a little bit. Throw in some honey. It's probably a couple teaspoons. Kosher salt. This is more or less to taste. Uh, old ground pepper. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just let this simmer on the coolest part of the grill. Uh, probably 15-20 minutes get this thickened up. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes or so now. It's like a syrup, so I'm going to pull this off, take it in the house, let it uh, cool down a little bit. We're going to get that steak going. All right, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. At least I have. This thing is probably an inch and three quarters thick. It's over a pound here. All right, so we're in this thing about five minutes now. I'm going to give this a flip. And you can see, you know, all the, the salt and that pepper and the oil and, you know, the herbs and everything just really, really caramelized there. It's nice crust. All right, we're probably 30 seconds left. And what I'm going to do now is put on this blue cheese. I'm sure you guys will forgive me for using my fingers. For the last 30 seconds, I'm going to put the lid on. All right. So I'm going to take this in the house now, let it rest, and we're going to get those potatoes going. All right, so these potatoes, like I said, they've already been cooked. <clears throat> they've been boiled. I just want to get them heated up and it's nice grill marks.
All right, so these things are nice and hot. Here is the uh, dressing that I made. All that goodness, bacon and everything. All right, it's time to eat. Yeah, all right, guys, so here it is. Um, what I did is I just put the jam, the onion jam on top of the meat. That's how Bobby Flay did it, so give this a shot. Mmm. I have to admit I cheated and tried some of this earlier, and it is really good. See, I got a nice medium uh, rare there. Potatoes taste really, really good. Other than that, I just went with a real simple little kind of a vegetable medley just to kind of break it up a little bit. Anyway, guys, um, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on my next cook.